Hi there, I'm Eli Sipka, and this is the Patros Review. Now, in this episode, we we'll take a look at a rather interestingly bad film. This is Doomsday Machine, also known as Escape from Planet Earth, which ironically was also the title for the, uh, the long uh, anticipated uh, third installment of the Snake Plissken films, but never went ahead. Anyway, now this film, Doomsday Machine, was directed by Harry Hope, Lee Sholem, and Herbert J. Leder. And it was originally started in 1967 and 1972. I'll explain more of that later on. This is public domain, so you can find it anywhere. Now, this was a telepic that was originally worked on all the way back in 1967. But before it could be completed, the production ran out of money and had to be abandoned. It wasn't until 1972 when the footage was sold to a different filmmaker who then decided to complete the film but because the original cast were not available, or willing, to finish this off, he decided to shoot an ending that had the new actors hide their identities behind their spacesuits. A female Chinese spy working for the CIA infiltrates a CCP-run weapons facility, probably Norinko, and discovers that Chairman Mao has a top-secret doomsday weapon, an, at an atomic weapon suspended above a deep shaft that leads to a certain spot in the Earth's mantle that will crack the Earth's crust if activated. Prepared to be used, and Mao, being the psychopath that he was, is planning to use a weapon within 72 hours. After taking the necessary pictures of a proof, the spy returns to the States with the alarming news. A day later, the seven-man crew of the US mission to Venus is stopped from launch and three of their crew replaced by fem fem three female crew members, one of whom is a Russian, the first woman on the moon. I mean, the film's the this. They then blast off and just in time to as shortly after their rocket leaves Earth, the CCV deploy weapon and Earth is toast. But we're fucked. Not quite. Now being the last of their kind, the seven astronauts must decide what their fate will be as they literally have nowhere to go, only their original trip to Venus being viable. But tensions aboard the ship get sour really fast, as the crew's emotions overwhelm them and jealousy rears its ugly head. In this completed version, released in 1976 into West German television, before seeing an American release in 1979, Doomsday Machine is a seriously bad movie. The budget was sufficiently low that the sets look horrendously cheap. The spaceship even has household recliner chairs in the cockpit, for goodness sake. While the optical effects shots of the spaceship are hideously inconsistent, as the stock footage for the ship have been culled from various sources, leading to the ship constantly changing shape. It is pretty funny to watch. <laughs> the script could have made for a good movie, where the budget high enough and somebody with actual skills employed to direct the movie, which is why I've chosen to give this a film a D, 2 out of 10 instead of the dreaded D minus. But as is, this Frankenstein's monster of a film is just plain shoddy. Still, it does have some value as a test for seasoned hecklers and hardcore bad movie masochists. Now, for gore nudity. No gore, but aside from planet Earth being destroyed, and two of the astronauts being ejected out of the airlock with bloody eyes. But considering this was intended for American television, there's also no nudity. So, in some alternate future, Earth is fucked. Anyway. Okay, that's it for that one. Um, I I've never come across any DVDs of this one. I've seen it online. My prints on YouTube. So you can actually find this anywhere. I give this a D, 2 out of 10, it's bad. But that's, but that's purely by dying to the potentially decent concept, just the execution is horrible. Anyway, so conditional D. <laughs> the mileage may vary. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, comments, or associated tribute for this review subject, please leave it in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. Hope you guys are staying safe, take it easy, and see ya.